that I have provided to the county in my conduct that I'm going to be released from my own position. I expect that to happen. That, that speaks volumes to this court. Right now, live at 6, Robert Tellis removed from office. More on the ruling from a judge to remove the official from the public administrator's role. Plus, discussing Superintendent Dr. Jesus Jara's contract, what was brought up during today's meeting, and what was decided regarding his future with CCSD. More on that story later in this newscast. First, now former Clark County Public Administrator Robert Tellis has been officially removed from office. Hello and thanks so much for joining us live at 6. I'm Joe Muller. And I'm Paulina Boots. Katricia has the night off tonight. Now, a judge ruled this morning Tellus will no longer serve as Clark County Public Administrator. Judge David Jones signed with Clark County, saying Tellus is unable to do his job as an elected official from jail and that he was neglectful of his duties. Tellus is behind bars without bail after he was arrested in connection for killing local journalist Jeff Gehrman. The former public official's lawyer said today that Tellus has done everything he could to fulfill his duties while under arrest, but the county's attorney argued that it was Tellus's actions that resulted in his inability to do his job. The fault of Mr. Tellus's custody status is his and his alone. He can't do his job because he killed Jeff Ehrman. And whether that's proof beyond a reasonable doubt at this stage doesn't make any difference. The fault of his custody status is his and his alone. The county put out a statement saying that they'll appoint someone to fulfill this position at the end of Tellus's term, which ends on January 1st. And officials from the public administrator's office are reacting tonight. Assistant Public Administrator Rita Reed wrote, quote, I am relieved and grateful for this decision, and I believe others in the department are as well. Those of us in this office will continue to move forward in the best way possible to serve our community, which is what I feel Jeff would expect us to expect from us, end quote. And Janelle Leah, who has worked in the office since 2020, also wrote, finally, and a little relief. 13 investigates spoke with Janelle last week following the arrest of Tellus. And our team coverage of Robert Tellus continues tonight with 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears. As Darcy continues to dig into the disgraced public official's history, 13 investigates uncovered Tellus' involvement in an already corrupt system that exploited some of Nevada's most vulnerable citizens. That corrupt system is the world of adult guardianship in Clark County, a system we investigated for several years starting in 2015. Guardianship is when a court assigns someone to take care of another person who's deemed unable to make critical health and financial decisions. Guardians can be family members or private professional guardians who are assigned hundreds of cases every year. They're supposed to protect the vulnerable wards, but we reported dozens of cases where those vulnerable people were isolated from loved ones while their homes were sold and bank accounts drained. It was like going from the frying pan to the fire. That's how Elizabeth Indig describes her experience with an attorney who just received his law license. That lawyer was Robert Tellis, a man who years later would be accused of murdering journalist Jeff Gehrman. I'm, I'm so freaked out from this whole thing. Indig's mother, also named Elizabeth, was caught up in what she calls an unnecessary guardianship. Mrs. Indig lost her home and everything in it, furniture, a lifetime of collectibles, even the clothes in her closets, all at the hands of private for-profit guardian April Parks. Parks was appointed by Clark County Family Court to protect Mrs. Indig. A judge later found Parks committed fraud. After 13 investigates reported extensively about Parks' pervasive mishandling of cases and double billing her clients, she was convicted of multiple felonies, including elder exploitation, theft, and perjury. Parks is currently serving a 16-year prison sentence. Leading up to that, as law enforcement was closing in on Parks and an indictment loomed, the Guardian abandoned dozens of clients and abruptly moved out of state. Mrs. Indig was one of the clients Parks left behind, forcing Elizabeth to navigate a broken system. While I was still battling April Parks, I was acting pro se as my own attorney for a long, long time. Legal Aid Center of Southern Nevada assisted dozens of Parks' abandoned clients, assigning lawyers who took cases pro bono. Robert Tellis was one of those attorneys. Rob Tellis first appeared on that case 
in January of 2016. And by that time, April Parks had fled the state. She had, was back in Philadelphia. Rick Black formed the organization Center for Estate Administration Reform, or SEER, in 2018, after seeing what happened to his father-in-law in a Clark County guardianship case. Black says he's not surprised by Elizabeth's first impression of TELUS. He was smarmy and disingenuous as a person, and then he was incompetent and lazy as an attorney. Fresh out of law school and starting his own probate practice, TELUS was given Elizabeth Indig as his first guardianship case. I was trying to tell facts to him, like regarding the price of our house that was stolen and how it fluctuates. He couldn't even grasp simple things, or he didn't want to. It was weird. It's like he took the case pro bono just to get out there and get famous. At one point in Mrs. Indig's case, Judge Nancy Alf ordered Parks to pay the family $155,000. But Elizabeth says Tellis failed to make that happen. Black's group, SEER, has analyzed thousands of guardianship cases across the country, including Tellis's work for the Indig family. He never filed a petition, never took any action against Parks to fulfill the 155,000 judgment, which was all to go to the benefit of his client, daughter Elizabeth Indig. So from start to finish, our interface with, on this and other cases, with Mr. Teus was he's in it to self-promote and he's in it to line his pockets, not necessarily satisfy a client. He didn't care at all about my mom or me. Concerned that Tellis was botching the case, Indig approached him at the courthouse, telling him despite working at no charge, he needed to do better. And when she confronted him about misconduct allegations she'd learned of when he was in law school, she says his reaction was terrifying. Like he wanted to kill me. If looks could kill, I would have died that day. Another attorney had told her about Tellus's reputation at UNLV's Boyd School of Law. As 13 Action News reported, Tellus was accused of inappropriate behavior at a party where he was intoxicated and allegedly placed his hand on a female student's inner thigh. We were in the courthouse, thank God for me, um, but he just got this look of hate on his face and he clenched his fists and he then he, he looked either direction, like he was almost going to strike me right there in the middle of the courthouse. And I backed down after that because that was the real Rob Tellis. When Elizabeth lost her mother in 2018. Didn't even return my call when I left a message that she died. He's heartless. Four years later, she was heartbroken to hear the news of Jeff Gehrman's death. When Tellis was charged with murder. It was no surprise to me because that's why I backed off because I saw there was a rage in there and I didn't want anything to do with that. Rick Black says this little known area of law, guardianship, probate, conservatorship, often has the least amount of oversight and with two trillion dollars passing from one generation to another every year, it draws nefarious professionals like bears to honey, he says. He's seen the exploitation so often, they've coined the phrase estate trafficking. We've got a link to the SEER website where you can find tips on how to protect yourself and loved ones from guardianship corruption. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.